Hello and welcome back to the N Squared World Domination Society. Today we will be building a water detecting sensor. Alright, first things first, solder an 8 pin dip socket onto the circuit board as shown. Next, solder an LED, preferably super bright red, somewhere in plain view on the board. This will become a flashing warning light to accompany the alarm sound. Then, connect the LED to pin 3 and ground. There will be a circuit diagram at the end of this video for a more detailed wire layout. Then, connect your power supply to the board. I'm using two AA batteries. Now, I should have probably had them closer on the circuit board because the next step is to connect the positive in the ground with a 0.1 UF capacitor. I got around this by using wires, but it doesn't look as neat. Now, we're going to wire up the power switch. It connects to pin 5 and the positive on the power supply. I accidentally soldered it wrong in the video, which, as you can imagine, caused a lot of problems later down the line, so ignore the way that the switch is wired up for now. We're almost done. All that's left is to solder on a simple piezo buzzer to pin 8 and ground, which will make a loud, obvious, THERE'S WATER ON YOUR ELECTRONICS NOW, YOU SHOULD PROBABLY COME DO SOMETHING ABOUT THAT RIGHT NOW, alarm sound. Alternatively, you could sound an alarm if there is no water by simply turning the device on while the sensor is already submerged in water. Now you need a wire connected to pin 6 and another to ground and glue them close together but not touching. This will be the two wires that get submerged in water. Which brings me to an important point. You are playing with electricity and water. It should go without saying that this can be dangerous. The two wires are the only parts of the device that can get wet. While this much voltage shouldn't kill you, and frankly shouldn't do serious damage, I would rather avoid any accidents caused because of one of my project videos. Now with that out of the way, when you turn on the sensor, you should hear this sound. After which, you can put the two wires into a place you don't want to get wet. The sensor has a power saving feature, so it can take up to 8 seconds to register a change in water levels, but when that does happen, this happens. until you take the wires out of the water again. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. Thanks for watching.